All right, guys, we are live. I'm going to work on a carving here. I'm actually shooting a video for it at the same time, but for those of you that jump on live, you will uh, you'll get to see me carve some of it. Now, I'll be working, so I won't be able to uh, chat and answer questions and all that, but if you guys have any questions, ask them in the regular comment section. And I'm wearing my AirPods, so I have no idea if you guys can even hear me. Let's hope you can. Um, put a video up earlier about some giveaways. I'm going to be giving away some super clean. You guys need to go to that video and uh, see how to enter for that. And this weekend, we're also going to be uh, reviewing some new tools from Sabretooth and talking about a uh, uh, giveaway video there as well. I'm planning to do all these giveaways on Sunday, this coming Sunday. What's going on, Eric? Getting ready to carve live. Carve live. I'm going to carve... Uh, the bumble bumble bombable whatever they call them on rudolph can you hear me can you hear me uh can you guys hear me okay i have no idea if you guys can hear me let's see hey hey can you guys hear me hey john hey Ro. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to fire up the saws in a minute. I'm going to start working on carving up the abominable snowman here. I'm also shooting a video at the same time. This video will go up sometime this weekend or maybe Friday if I can get it edited. I won't be able to uh, chat a whole lot while I'm carving, but I'll check in every once in a while, see where you guys are at. Hey, hey, hi. Hi, hey. Hi. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, it's going to be loud, so you guys might want to I want to turn your volume down just a little bit, at least until I'm not running saws. All right, I'm even. Uh, I'm pretty much just winging this, guys. I got a couple pictures up. We're uh, we're gonna see how this abominable snowman comes out. All right. I'm messing with this saw this morning. Now the chain's too tight. I know a bunch of your new carvers. Did you guys see that? Chain won't spin. Breaks off. Gotta loosen this thing up just a little. monkeying around here with this guys messing with this bar and chain this morning before I got out here and hopefully it's set up now let's see real quick alrighty
I'm gonna sketch this guy out real quick with some crayons. He's not gonna be very big as you guys can see. I have no idea. Hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. Making all kinds of noise here. If you guys haven't noticed, kind of like doing those uh, small, scary guy carvings. So we're going to keep this guy kind of kind of small. We'll oversize some stuff, right? Want his hand up here, kind of waving. Oh, look at the artistry in that hand, right? Amazing. What's up, kiddo? Yeah, I'm live. That's fine. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Never fails. I go live and now the kids are like, hey, dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Every time. It's all right. It's part of life. Bring these legs down. Those legs are kind of long, huh? You guys see what we got going on here? Make him a little bit bigger, but I want to have a big, big body with like some short, weird legs. That's kind of what I'm going for. Hair is going to be up here. Craziness. That head. So this is just super rough, and I've never carved one of these, so should be fun. Hopefully, everybody can still hear me okay. We're going to block it out and uh, see what we come up with. Hey, Colin. Hey, Rick. Eric. Abominable snowman. That's what we're going for. Let's see what happens.
Who's that? You got anybody on here still? Let's see. Can never see all the comments. It's freezing out here today. Oh, we got Jordy on here. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see my breath. My fingers are uh, again cold. Yeah, Jordy going there today, Rick. I think that's what he said, right? Cool. What's up, buddy? Uh, so I don't know. Can you guys see this thing coming together? Kind of looks like trash right now, but the uh... <laughs> we're uh, working on the abominable snowman from from uh, Rudolph. So we got to have the crazy hair on top. We got one hand up, one coming across his belly. We're just getting there. We're getting there. Um, I got to clean this face up where his face will be. And then uh, kind of dig in and carve it out a little for the eyes and where the mouth will be. Kind of shape up this chest, round it out here, and then go in for the legs. Get all that done. And most of the saw work will be, uh, will be done. And we'll move into some power tools. But... We'll see how the video is going live, and we may end it there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's cool. 20-something people on here watching. Awesome. Hey, uh, just checking. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, Rick, if you're still here, can you hear me all right? Just checking. Yeah, all right, cool. Thanks, Tom. Um, so, guys, earlier today I put a video up uh, about giveaways. Put up a uh, super clean video. Uh, well, about doing a giveaway for super clean. I can only do the giveaway for people here in the States, in the U.S., um, super clean is going to ship it out to whoever wins. And so that's their, their thing. But Saturday morning, I am hoping to put up a video reviewing some cross cutter burrs. They're eyeball burrs, but they're called cross cutter burrs by Sabretooth. And, uh, hoping to talk about doing a giveaway with those for, uh, for one lucky winner. And I'm willing to ship that, you know, anywhere. So hi, Jennifer. Um, be sure you guys are uh, keeping an eye out for that video on Saturday. The plan is to do the giveaway for everything on uh, Sunday, maybe around 1 or 2 uh, New York time, Eastern time there. So that's uh, that's what I'm working on. I also might have one other item I might just uh, give away since it's uh, Christmas season. But we're still working toward that 10,000 sub giveaway as well. That's the uh, Dewalt Die Grinder and Sabretooth Burrs. I want to give that away to somebody when we hit 10,000 subs. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit subscribe so we can get that much closer to uh, giving that tool away. And what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah. All about giveaways, you know. Wanted to do a giveaway also on a bench carving video. Carved up a bench a while back. It's got like just over 600,000. Uh, yeah. I keep an eye out. We got to get 10,000 subs. I want to... Uh, uh, giveaway a carving when we hit a million views on that video and that video's got us uh, like 600 and uh, 67 670 some odd thousand views i think when it hits a million i'm gonna carve something up and uh, i'll give it away i'll ship it you know whatever we got to do there but i think it'd be cool to uh get a million views on one video so if you guys are able to find that if not if this video uploads once we're done being live i'll uh, i'll link that video down below or above or something so all right i think i got the feeling back in my hands i'm gonna fire the saw back up and uh, start honing this piece in
his fingers are sag out. Four. And it will be a Glasses are spotted. Geez, I got stuff popping up. Think about the hand. And that hand coming across. We have a thumb.
Face. Man, we're still running with 22 people on here. Nice. I'm happy with that. Heck, I'm happy if one person watches. What a bunch of slackers, huh, Rick? Jeez. That's okay. That's all right. What do you think, guys? Is it looking like the, uh, the abominable snowman? I'm hoping my phone doesn't fall over because the holder I've got it in is just trash. I need to buy a new one. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Spike. He's getting there, right? Ah, uh, he's coming. He'll be coming. You saw the the deer videos I did, so I think we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do Rudolph at some point. <coughs> well, 
sorry. Sawdust choking me out here. Nope, it's not. Pieces like this, I carve to entertain you guys, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I tend to not even sell them. All those scary dudes I did for uh, October, Halloween, and all that are pretty much like stacked out in front of my house. So, <laughs> yep. Um, this guy will probably go there too. Kids will probably love him. Probably uh, sit on the porch and greet people. But I want to do a I want to do a series. But I'm running out of time coming up on Christmas. So we'll see what happens. I uh, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna we'll refine these with the power tools. How long have we been on here? 45 minutes? Yes, yeah, so we'll get into some power tools here in a few minutes. Um, Got to clean up this base, though, with all these overcuts. At least get rid of some of them and kind of, you know, refine this. Um, Sabertooth burrs on the uh, die grinders. I'll be using that. Got to put his eyes in here. And I want to try to put some teeth in there. I mean, it's going to be a little tricky. I should have left more, more meat on it, but it's a first, so we'll see how it goes. It's uh it's always fun doing a first, especially live. Can't just uh thanks Ian. Yeah, they were a fun carve. The uh doe, the fawn, and then the buck. If you guys watch that to the end, they fit right together. It's from the same log. Um, those are some cool pieces. Those ones I'll probably uh I'll end up putting up for sale at a store I sell through locally. So those will go to who uh to somebody, hopefully. Um all right, just catching my breath, warming my hands up here. They're uh, it's cold. It's cold. Got to be high twenties, low thirties. I mean, I've carved been worse, but it's the beginning of the season, so I'm not quite ready for it. Um, in case you have not been watching from the beginning, I've been talking earlier today, and it'll be the rest of the week about doing giveaways. You guys got to keep an eye out for those giveaway videos, all right? It's going to be instructions in the one I put out today on how to get in the giveaway. And, uh, yeah, thanks, Rick. Uh, sometimes people ask me at home if I sell stuff. I don't really sell from home, though, because this isn't uh, set up as a place of business. So I sell through local shops. I'll take commissioned orders if somebody reaches out, make the piece, and then deliver it to them. But uh, this isn't a storefront. This isn't, you know, anything like that. So, yeah, that's awful, Ian. I'm sorry to hear that. That's a bummer, dude. Nope, I don't want that. Not at all. <laughs> Negative two. No thanks. Um, yeah. Can I... Can I carve it? Noise complaint. There is no noise ordinance where I live. I try to carve between 9, 10 a.m. until about 4 p.m. And then I shut the saws off. It's another reason why I invest quite a bit of money in battery saws. So that's why you guys see commercials on these videos. Um, those commercials actually help me save up to get better battery saws because you know i don't have some of my neighbors i'm sure they're annoyed some don't care but i think it's important to uh, try and bring my noise level down the best that i can so uh, i recently purchased the ms220 that's the biggest battery saw steel makes and i'm waiting for it to come in i ordered it two weeks ago so it must be on back order or just with our thanksgiving holiday things are behind i don't know uh, i'm waiting for that to come in and a new AP 300S battery for it. So when that gets in, that'll be doing uh, quite a bit of work out here. During the week, I try to run battery saws. You know, if it gets early in the day, or I mean, I run my gas saws. Early in the day, I usually do battery. Late in the day, I do battery, run gas, middle of the day. Most people are at work. So, you know, and I try to keep the uh, carving down on the weekends. Unless I have an order, I just got to get out the door. You know, that kind of, that plays a, a big part of it too, so. Yeah, I enjoy it too, Anna. I really do. I enjoy the, uh, the sounds of the saw, um, the noise and all that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure some people, it drives them absolutely insane. And I get it. It's loud, you know.
that's not bad for the DeWalt to uh, to do that. That's pretty cool. I would like to, uh, after I get this steel, I may save up and uh, try some other bat brands for battery saws. I want to see how they work, you know, like like Rick just said, he uses the DeWalt. I think it would be cool to be able to uh, test those out and review them for you guys. Some of those other saws are, uh, no, I don't have any Makitas. Some of those other saws are cheaper than the steel. And so, you know, I get it. Some people might be getting those to start carving it with. Really? Just the 5A, huh? That's not very big at all. That's crazy. So I want to be able to try that stuff out and share it with you guys, you know, and kind of help everybody out that's also learning to carve. So good morning. Um, all right. I think I'm going to go ahead, grab the, uh, the die grinder. I'm going to go ahead and use the, uh, flame bit burr from saber tooth. You guys know me. I run saber tooth tools. That's what I like. That's what I run. I know Jordy runs cuts all. Hey, to each his own. No big deal. We'll be running the, uh, half inch quarter inch shaft course saber tooth burr. So this is the green burr through saber tooth. Also, while I got 24 of you on here, if you guys use the code HALL10, capital H, capital A, capital L, L10, on Sabertooth.com, you guys can get 10% off Sabertooth tools, get 10% off your purchase from now until December 31st, 2020, all right? I keep forgetting to put that in videos, but if this uploads, I'll also put that code below it, and if this doesn't upload, well, I'm recording it in time-lapse, and I will make sure to put the code under that video or in that video or somewhere so you guys can use it at least. So I'm going to go ahead, fire this up and, uh, ah, it stinks, man. That's a bummer spike. I will, uh, I'll try to email them and ask them about the uh, UK shipping. I'll, uh, I'll see what they have to say about that. See if it's something they can work on. So right now, Actually, I should probably draw these on. So I work back and forth between carpenter pencil and the uh, crayon that I put somewhere. When drawing on this stuff, it's like real rough. I use one of these crayons. And now we're ready to do a little more refined work. I'll sketch on it with just a carpenter pencil. So, you know, his nose is kind of up here. I'm leaving him pretty rough, you know, because he's covered in fur. We got to get these nostrils in here. Oh, what's his eyes look like? We got to put some, some weird. Right, we got to put some eyes in here, like this kind of. He almost has sad eyes. Kind of makes me feel bad for him. Didn't he eat one of the deer in the video in the movie? I can't remember, you guys. Did uh. Did he eat one of the deer in that cartoon, Rudolph? The, uh, I think it was Stop Animation, right? Anybody remember? Remember they were in the cave, right, with a bunch of deer? Or he was going to eat it. I don't remember. Um, so we got four fingers. We're going to try to clean those up with this burr. And uh, fingers, toes, we'll clean up around the chest here. There's really no other details. To, well, the teeth. I'm going to try to put some crazy uh, triangle jagged teeth only on the bottom, though. Yeah, some of the photos are on top, but I didn't leave enough wood. So he's just going to have teeth on the bottom. He must have forgot to put in his upper dentures. Eating snow. Okay, maybe he was eating snow. All right, all right. I thought somewhere he picked a deer up, though. I don't remember. Now i got to go watch it. All right, turning this thing on. Let's, uh, let's carve. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was almost not safe. Tuck these strings in if they get caught up in my die grinder. That would be uh, that'd be pretty crappy. Choke myself out here on live on YouTube. Ugh.
If you guys use these die grinders and it sticks on or won't turn on, you know, on or off, use the air hose, blow that, uh, blow that trigger out. I'm not done with that, uh, flame bit, but I'm going to go into this. I don't know what the heck it's called, like a contouring kind of bit. This is still a course. Um, I'm going to use this and actually go through and start doing like the roundness of his fingers. I haven't used this a lot. You guys can see it's still nice and green. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back and uh, use the flame bit to clean up those hands and stuff.
Well, guys, if you're hearing me, I got to fire up the saw real quick, clean up under his arm, and clean this stuff up. Sometimes this 193 starts hard. Let's see. I still didn't trim up that base though.
Just had an idea. Still got people on here? Cool. We've been on here over an hour. Good gravy. This video is probably not going to upload when I'm done. Good thing I'm recording it. Those batteries are dying too, though. Whew. Cold days kill them batteries fast. Uh, well, you guys can see them, right? So, sitting here carving the bottom, right? Cleaning it up. And uh, I think it'd be cool if he was standing on a snowball. What do you guys think? Like, we'll do a snowball. Like, he's on just a snowball, right? I think it'd be neat. Don't mind my heavy breathing. Ooh, and I don't even smoke. It's crazy. All right, a snowball. That's cold. Uh, 193 is pretty dull and it's driving me crazy. I ran out of gas with the uh, oh, drop my cap. Ran out of gas with the 250. So I said, well, we we'll use the 193, but no. Thought I sharpened it. I guess I skipped it this morning. That's always fun. 
especially live, you know? Hey, look at this saw. It's dull. Look how it cuts horribly. It's good and sharp. It cuts nice. Ah, so I'm just filling up the 250. We're going for a snowball. I saw somebody comment a mountain. Yeah, that would be uh, pretty cool. One of the jagged mountains from like the movie. Come on, oil. Oh, I don't know who I'm going to carve next. I don't even know if that's going to be today, but we'll see how it goes. 29 people on here. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. What do we got? We got 23 thumbs up. Six of you are slacking. Six of you are slacking. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, appreciate everybody that's been on here commenting, though, and following along. I know we might lose connection anytime now. That seems to be the deal as we've watched other people go live together in the past. So, what do we got? Hour and 20? Eh, we'll see what happens. Now, if you guys don't get to see this guy done live, the video will get edited and be up sometime between now and Saturday. Plus, that giveaway video I talked about earlier. So, all right, let's get this snowball done before I lose you guys. Yeah.
And I did not bring my die grinder out here. Oh. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right you know i say keep your burrs clean yeah do as i say not as i do um yeah yeah me too rick i need some more coffee it's cold out here Who's in New York? Who's in this time zone? What the heck time is it? Anybody know? I can't even check on my phone because I'm videoing. I have no clue what time it is. According to the sun. The sun, so. Anybody got the time? Hey, cool. As you all comment. It shows what time your comment's coming up. So 12.29. Awesome. Thanks, guys. 12.29. So that means my wife's got to leave for work here in a little bit today, which means i got to wrap this up. It does, it does. I'm going to have to wrap it up here. But first, we're going to plug in this die grinder. Four-inch, saber tooth disc, the green green ones all right and if you're just joining because we got like 30 you guys can go to sabertooth.com use hall 10 h-a-l-l 10 capital letters and get 10 percent off your order through sabertooth tools so yeah there's that and uh yep yep good thing i plugged my phone in all right I'm not going to clean up the fur here, but I am going to clean up the snowball. That is, that is the plan. Oh, I need my earmuffs because this thing's loud. This gives me more of a headache than the chainsaw. Oh,
Forgot to put my name in it. My name. Oh, this saw's getting worse and worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, losing tools. Sender flex. Flip sender. And I can't see anything. My glasses are so fogged up. That's fun. It's getting colder or warmer. It's just staying the same. Hey, guys, uh, people watching, if you guys have any questions, ask them over in the regular comment section, not the live section, okay? Because I probably won't go back and rewatch two hours of this, so... If, uh, if anybody has any carving questions or, you know, anything about this piece, just ask them in the regular comment section of the video. Again, as long as this uploads without any issues. And if I can't upload it, just ask those questions in the, uh, the time-lapse video that I'm creating here at the same time. So um, that's pretty much it. I am going to hit them real quick and very light with the torch to get rid of the fuzzies. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, maybe not. Looks like my igniter is about had it. There we go.
Oh, tripping. You're tripping. Super, super light burn. I gotta take this thing off. guys are still here I'm going to grab another burr because I don't like the way this looks question is can you guys hear me off camera while I'm over here in the shop since I'm using my airpods that's the real question hear me breathing and talking to myself over here let me see let me see I'll be right back. I promise. Oh. All right. Grabbed my Dremel. 4,000 in this little burr right here from Sabretooth. This is their, what is this? Fine grit? It's the yellow ones. All right. Eighth inch shaft. I, uh, oh man, I want to clean up these eyes. I want to get them a little bit bigger. And the big burrs are just too, too big and bulky for this. So. She's good. I'm going to call it. Almost. Keep remembering things I want to do. it up and show you guys i gotta turn these time lapse cameras off though because they are like gonna shut off any minute Ugh. there perfect all right 
Kick that out of the way. Kick this out of the way. All right, guys. Ooh, ah. Look at this guy. Clean the legs, cleaned out. Got all his fur on. Yep, yep. Thanks, guys. Um, so, I'm not going to finish the piece 100. Hey, Mike. I'm not going to be able to finish the piece 100% here with you guys because i got to move it in the shop where it's warm. Uh, just let the wood warm up. I'll paint it in there with an airbrush. Keep an eye out, though, for the, uh, the video carving him up, and you guys will be able to see him finished there. I really want to thank all of you that joined me, though, today. It was awesome. Um, I have no idea what most of you talked about, but I'm glad you guys were able to uh, entertain yourselves and have conversations. Hi. Bye. Bye in a few minutes. Seconds. We'll see. Um, yeah. It's been awesome, though, hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Might try to uh, do these live things a little more often when I can. Um, you know, the kids are going remote, so they're going to be home doing school until after Christmas. And that's going to put a little bit of a, a damper on this side of things. Just uh, not sure how often I'll be able to go live, which is always a tough thing. Yes, upstate New York. And uh, just not sure uh, what that's going to look like. So I'm going to try to put out videos still. It might change things. I'm hoping it doesn't. Yeah, I know. I want to get them videoing, Rick. That's what I would like to do. I want them to uh, like video. If I can get them out here videoing safely, I think that'd be awesome. But, you know, I'll probably be uh, carving I'll have to stop filming, run in, do some schoolwork with kids, come back out, work on a piece, in and out, in and out. But it is what it is. This is poplar. Um, somebody else asked me, they thought it was tulip poplar. It's not tulip poplar. This is poplar wood, though. Here in the States, uh, the bark sometimes can look a lot like white birch. And sometimes it's just super dingy. You guys can see that's what the bark looks like. You know, it's kind of a thin bark, fairly smooth. Uh, these trees tend to grow really straight, really tall. They're more dense to carve than like pine. So I really got to end up uh, sharpening the saws more often sometimes for bigger pieces and things like that. And they do, they do crack. They're, they're jerks about cracking this stuff. It's going to crack. So <laughs> I'm over it. I already know what's going to happen. So, um, that's going to be it though. Yeah. I can't think of what the heck kind it is. I'll try to remember and mention it in another video. Somebody asked me, I had to look it up. It's poplar in upstate New York though. Yeah, it is soft, Rick. It's a little bit more dense though than pine. And it always, it always splits. Always. I had took some to the mill. The guy sawed it in boards and as he was cutting the ends just instantly split on me. Um, he said it's the tension in the trees because they grow tall and straight. And it's just got to be that tension when they saw it in the boards. It just splits. And it pretty much does the same thing when it dries out. But it holds character really nice. Um, it just, it does. It can take more detail and, and things like that. So I tend to use it for these kind of pieces. But yeah. Well, I got to go in and get some coffee. I got to go and warm up my hands and think about the next thing I'm going to carve. So I hope you guys have an awesome, yes, coffee. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Keep an eye out. Coffee, coffee. Hope you guys keep an eye out for the video on Saturday. It's been awesome. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. And uh, I'll see you guys next